Hi guys, this is another TF2 video and today I'm going to be going into detail under one of the classes and the class today is going to be a soldier. Here is the soldier, he fires rockets and I'm just going to set him up for the game we're about to have. So, I'm going to use the black box because on each, if I don't have a medic on each hit I'll get 50% 15% health. But I will only get three rockets, but three rockets normally enough to kill someone unless it's a heavy or they're being healed by a medic. So we'll use that. For my second so I'm going to use a shotgun just in case that I run out of ammo and that I need to quickly kill him off. I'll just pull up my shotgun and put a few bullets into because I don't have any use for the either two in this match. And the shovel is pretty useless and I'm just going to use my vintage equalizer so that if I'm damaged I can pull it out so to run faster so I can get away or go in for the melee kill. And I'm going to wear this hat which I painted white because like I said I'm a boss and for here I'm just going to put that because it's something I've got. And that's my class that we're going to be using this game. Hope you have fun watching the soldier and seeing how I dominate. Let's go and watch that now. Hey guys, I'm Empermoth and basically we've just set up our class and here I am. I'm rushing up. Well, I was a bit late into the game so I've only just got here as they, as they uh, spawn but absolutely annihilating it basically as they just come out of the side thinking that no one's in this hut. Um, just going to warn you before you uh, get too far into this video, if you don't like people basically spawn raping other people, leave now because this is basically, um, I'm not totally sure how much, five minutes of me just spawn cleaning these guys bad. But anyway, so what we're trying to do here is at the bottom of the screen there are two squares which are in red and that's our team. We have those and one of them is uh, to my left now. And we're defending that, and we're trying to make sure that they don't capture that, because if they capture that, they get extra time, and then they try and capture the other one to win. And what we're doing is we're defending. So, what I did is, I'm using a black box, because I don't have a medic with me. And, oh, I sounded really weird there, because I don't have a medic with me, so that each time I hit someone, as it's on the left, every time I hit someone, it will go ping, um, some a hit damage indicator above them will come up, I think. Or at least it will ping, and then on the left corner, it will come up in green writing, plus 15, like that. So that every time I shoot someone, hit someone with my rocket, I'm still getting it. And I'm staying around here because there's also health there and there's um, ammo, so that I'm always revealing my ammo and health. So basically I'm just working on this area, dominating them as they come out of here, because behind me now, to my right, oh, I've got a bit of lag here. And I eventually sort of just, it goes a bit weird, and I turn up right up to the edge. So to my, <coughs> behind me now, I can cover down there but also to the left on the other side of that sort of gorge that's like the main exit so I thought well everyone goes in the fence and goes out of there so I'll just come down here on my side itself and defend this side because there's a medic there's not a medic, there's a health I'm using the black box and there's some ammo so I can probably defend this by myself and here I dominate one, dominate two because I'm a boss and I'm using the black box like a real man so here I'm just basically I'm just dominating them, which is really it. And I just dominate them for the next two minutes. The thing with the soldiers, you always want to make sure you have the high ground. So if it's flat like this, oh another domination, just keep racking them in. As you can see here, I'm aiming at their feet or well, below because if you aim at them, it could just go past them and hit a wall behind them. So you're always hitting to their feet so that way it'll definitely hit. Probably the heavy it's probably the hardest guy to kill. But um you can still hit him with only three rockets at close range and still get him. So, one reason the only the, the disadvantage of the black box is that instead of having four rockets, I have three. But I found that I can kill a lot of people with three rockets, and normally I can just duck under cover to reload at least one or two before coming back out and finish them off. So I'm just really trying to make them scared of coming out here because I'm the only person coming out here because the game after this we were defending this again and. They killed me. Oh, another domination. And they actually killed me. And uh, they pushed up and straight away got up to the thing. So I know that my team, all my team are on the other side behind me. So I know that they've got that covered so that I can just, I can just uh, stay here and more or less single-handedly dominate them. So you will occasionally see that I'll whip out my uh, pickaxe, my equalizer, and it'll make me run fast if I have less health. That's just to get into that hut next to me there to get some health or some ammo. But 
apart from that, they seem to be realising that coming out of here is a good idea and have started coming it down the middle, but that's a good thing about here. I can cover this doorway here. Oh, double kill. Um, I can cover down in the creek. This, this creek? Yeah, it's really called creek. And if needs be, I can cover the door. I can turn around and fire over there to the right. But they seem to be um, trying to push up. That was a, uh, a medic healing a cloaked spy as one of our teammates. I don't know why. Perhaps if they had, um, what I'd have done if I was on their team, I'd have probably organised a an Uber medic, no, an, a, an Uber, so, an Uber, a, um, an Uber, what's the word? An Uber heavy to come out and uh, sort it out. But anyway, coming to the end of the video, so I recommend for this video there'll be a subscribe button. If you click that, you'll have all my latest videos on your YouTube homepage, so that you won't have to come to me every time and get them. And uh, subscribe for more awesome stuff. Rate, comment, and subscribe.